The following is a presentation of FNX Network, fnx.network. On this episode of Casual Mode, this month's Wrestle Roll Rewind, Batman Arkham Knight's PC issues, I have a video game review for you, we have further evidence that a new NXT champ might be crowned, as well as a new US champ, and in silly news and dumb tweets, some meat that's probably older than most of you who are listening to this show. It's Casual Mode episode 21, and it starts now. It's Casual Mode with Jeremy and David, episode 21 for June 29th, 2015. The Ballad of New Jack and Shark Boy. Hello everyone and welcome to Casual Mode, the podcast for geeks of all trades and masters of none. I am your host Jeremy and with me as always is my co-host, my tag team partner, my best friend, my little brother by spirit, David. How are you today? I'm doing all right. I just got off a conversation with my friend uh, Travis up in Canada. Oh, what was it about? Uh, well, he just got his first package of this new substance that he had called Soylent. Ah, I've heard of that. It's like supposed to be a meal replacement, nutritional supplement type thing. Pretty much, and I think having like three glasses or something like that, I'm not entirely sure how it works. But, like, you know, you can just replace it with food. I mean, there was even this one Twitter, which I'll put up on the on the uh, video board, that Soylent has arrived, goodbye food. <laughs> which was... Uh, well, for one thing, uh, you know, I, I, I've heard of that movie. I, I, I don't want to eat anything named Soylent. And well, if you don't like Soylent, there is an alternative to that. It's called 100% Food. Apparently, if you like to eat like the astronauts do, you can have 100% food. And I, uh, I mentioned this to Maggie, uh, you know, a little while ago. And uh, to her, um, she just misses pizza and steak and ribs too much. And sorry about that, guys. That was my Facebook going. <laughs> you know, if I want to, you know what my version of 100% food is? What's that? 100% actual food. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I, I go to Steak and Shake and get my cheesy cheddar burger. Yeah. That's, or, that's or, real food. Or, for instance, and, and this is going to be kind of a little uh, special uh, food note for uh, those of you foodies out here. Because, I mean, we're f- food geeks. We're geeks, too, you know. I, um, I put up a video of the cheddar bow. I'm... My- I'm- Yeah, my dinner is, and I'm going to get a picture of this and put it up on the Instagram for you. Uh, When I was in school, my elementary school days, one of my favorite meals was when they would create pizzas on hamburger buns. It'd be like either hamburger or pepperoni pizzas made on hamburger buns. Oh, that's So that they were, you know, single serving size for a little kid. Well, these days I can eat like four of them by myself. But I actually reverse engineered that to where I can make them en masse for, for, you know, my big brother and my parents. So, and the recipe is zen simple. It it is just the easiest thing. You know, use one, one package of Hormel pepperoni. Uh, less or Canadian bacon if for Crohn's people. Yeah, less than one standard jar of whatever pizza or pasta sauce you prefer to have. I I tend to go with Prego because we like that brand. And I'd have to add brown sugar on any sort of sauce. Yeah, um, of course you can also substitute uh, hamburger for the uh, pepperoni as well. Uh, cheese, you can use whatever cheese you like. I tend to go for either Italian blends or mozzarella provolone blends because they melt pretty well and and brown easily. And just a standard eight-pack of hamburger buns. And what you do is you take the hamburger buns, you pull them apart to where, you know, you've got the top and the bottom. These are each going to be a crust, so you can make 16 pizzas. And I usually use about a tablespoon of sauce. You just spoon it onto the bun, spread it around, you know, add your toppings, add your cheese, slide it into the oven, 350 for 
about 12 minutes or until the cheese starts getting nice and brown. Pull them out and there you go. Flashback to your school days. They are they actually, simple to make. I actually did that with Texas toast. I used the hamburger buns for it. And it tastes really good. It's just awesome. I put them in my toaster oven. A little bit of butter, garlic salt. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. It, it, it's a fun exercise to do for those of us who are into food. Is to take a dish that you loved from, say, like your school days or from when you were a kid. Figure out how to reverse engineer it and basically learn how to make it that way. But the way that these guys in Soylent and 100% Food market their uh, food is that, uh, if you call it food, meal replacement supplements, is that they like to say that this is the most efficient way to get your daily calories. If you don't care so much about food, then yeah, you just take one of these and that's pretty much it. And I've seen reviews of it out there and people have a hard time getting used to the taste of it, so they usually end up scaling it down to where it only replaces one meal a day which honestly I think is probably where they're better served until we figure out that whole Star Trek replicator thing. Yeah, I, I would say that too. Maybe, you know, well, they do have, you know, lab-created meat now, so you never know. That could be right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some melancholy news, though, uh, this week. We bid a fond and tragic farewell to film composer James Horner. Uh, basically... Uh, for those of us who uh, grew up watching movies in the uh, 90s, this guy was the composer of the soundtrack of our lives, alongside uh, John Williams and uh, Danny Elfman. Uh, for instance, he did the soundtrack to Star Trek movies, uh, Beautiful Mind, Field of Dreams, I find the movie overrated, but some people love that movie, and the soundtrack is part of the reason why. Titanic, along with two other James Cameron films, and Apollo 13. So he's got great a great filmography behind him. Uh, the other two James Cameron movies that he scored were uh, Aliens and Avatar. So mm. he worked very closely with uh, James Cameron on multiple occasions. Uh, it, for those of us who love Star Trek II, Wrath of Khan, he scored that movie. Uh, the uh, Matthew Broderick, Denzel Washington movie, Glory, which is about uh, the first uh, black fighting unit in the uh, Union during the Civil War, he scored that movie. So he's got a great film resume, a lot of good movies, and unfortunately, he died in a plane crash this past week. So, yeah, unfortunately, like I said, for a lot of us who are listening to the show, he probably basically created the soundtrack to our childhoods. Uh, less melancholy news, uh, m more interesting than anything, uh, heads up on what's going to be on the show. We do have the uh, June Wrestle Roll Rewind, and I hope you appreciate what we're doing, because, oh god, this was painful. Yeah. Also, um, I will be putting up Major League Pokemon World Cup news throughout the night. Um, I should go ahead and just talk about the uh, four first round matches that have been done between uh, episodes, actually. And in the video game segment, aside from ta talking about some very big uh, uh, news regarding recently released Batman Arkham Knight, especially where it c comes to uh, PC players, I actually have a video game for you, straight from the bird's mouth. All right. No surprise here, Alex Cohen won his match over Akihiro Suki, which a of lot course, of course he's the champ. So. Yeah, not not really much of a surprise there, was it? Not Dylan? No. Um, the two-seed Dylan Kisaragi pulled off a stunning victory over Brian Griffin to advance on to the quarterfinal round where he will face Patrick Ild. Justin Salidi and Isabel Brundle battled very a very, very long three-round match 
But in the end, Justin Saliti managed to eke by after quiver dancing and then sweeping uh, the team that Isabel created with, I guess, uh, several quiver dances. You know, that, that Volcarona man. <laughs> oh, yeah. And finally, yes, our biggest upset of the round so far has been number 12, Kevin McAdams, over number 5, Wayne Trimnell. Two rounds to none. So congratulations to Kevin McAdams. He will advance to the quarterfinals to take on Rommel alexander Maltes. As for the uh, consolation bracket, yeah, I still have not had a match. Yeah, still been kind of scrapped. I haven't heard from anyone. Except for me. Pretty much. Oh, and Delma. Yeah. Why not? I think it's. I think that's what it's going to be, you and Delma, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. Last or bust. Last or bust. Last or bust. <laughs> Jeez, man. All right. I hope you all appreciate what we do for you. The uh, links that we go to to uh, entertain you folks. Because coming up is the Wrestle Roll Rewind. And I'm going to tell you right now, we are going back to the, ver- to the beginning days of total nonstop action wrestling. <laughs> Not the very first days, but certainly its infancy. Uh, this is going to suck. Yeah, casualmodepodcast.com, facebook.com slash casualmodepodcast. You know, you, you got the rest of the sites there, iTunes, SoundCloud, Twitter. I'm at Zeros H. Harpoya. I'm at Shadowbird712. And, oh. Coming up next. I was doing this. Coming up next, Total Nonstop Action ref- Wrestling in its Infancy. This is the worst thing to ha- ever happen in life since Matthew McLaughlin. And yet somehow, on these Wrestle World Rewinds, we have still not managed to get out of the 2000s. Hey everyone, this is David. Like what you hear? Check us out on the internet at casualmodepodcast.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash casualmodepodcast, any one of our social media links, and of course... Click on the little subscribe button below. Thanks!